My pick to win the event, she has Challenger Series victories underneath her belt before, is Sori Limblad. Riding a sub driver epoxy, and as you can see right there, wraps it back, fully engages the rails, and generates enough speed to just attack the last section with a lot of power. Quarterfinal two in the water, Luana Silva finding a right. Winds up off the bottom, beautiful carve, a little bit of release there. And one more stab up into the lip. Oh, some quick turns by Luana Silva. Her opening ride in a matchup against Sawyer Lindblad, Kaipo along with Mitchell Salazar and Peter Mel. One of these two surfers to climb big time and get above that cut line. Yeah, and I really liked the way she was able to engage with that first turn. And Lulu had an incredible heat yesterday afternoon. And 6.83 for the first ride. Sawyer Lindblad is ride number two for the surfer out of San Clemente. Couple of slashes on the backhand. Gonna hang with this before kicking out. So quickly to back up her opening ride. She's got the early advantage. 6.83 opening ride for Sawyer Limblad. 5.5 for Luana Silva. 17 year old Sawyer Limblad out of San Clemente, California. Opened up this challenger season with a runner up finish on the Gold Coast behind India Robbins. That was impressive. Both had little hooking snaps to start it out. This is the backup wave for Soya Limblad with the backhand. She has got such a solid backhand. And one of the things that I was going to point out and the point of difference that Sawyer's bringing is the quickness and explosiveness in her maneuvers. And that's why you're seeing a point and a half almost difference between Luana's wave, where she had the carve, and then the snap. This is a massive opportunity to bring the whole crew from San Clemente over here to the south side and support you on the beach, Kybes. Quick up and out for Sawyer Lindblad. And so with that, let's go to AJ for the first heat winner of the day, Ellie Harrison. Hey, she's getting your accents going. I think we need to uh, get her to speak a little bit more Spanish with all the Spanish-speaking surfers that are in the quarters. Luana Silva trailing Sawyer Lindblad. And Silva, just one turn there. He's a 5.17. I don't think she's going to get it done on that one turn, Pete. Nah, not going to do it, but it looked like an opportunity. It was a nice size set wave. We haven't seen a lot of sets in that first heat. Some heats are going to be on with a lot of waves, and some are going to be kind of slow. Nice one move there, straight up into the lip. You know, nice size set wave. Tagged it hard. So it's a backup number if it uh, goes flat. What she brings to the table is no fear when it comes to those big sections on the outside. Heat leader, Sawyer Lindblad, with beautiful rail control on that opening carve oh. and a couple of quick snaps. She's taken apart this wave, release there, add the variety to the overall routine there, Mitchell. Should be the first section of the score that we're going to see this morning, and incredible wave selection from Sawyer Lindblad. I really love the flow, but her positioning in the lineup has been impeccable two weeks prior to the event and you can see on point right here fully engages the rail Pete. yeah she did and just look at it this uh, each and every turn a little bit different getting a little more pizzazz and punch in the lip four solid moves i mean that was impressive and you're and you talk about what the judges wanted to see you know again combination of major moves right where you're able to come out of a move and straight in bottom turn top turn mm -hmm. bottom turn top turn there was no pumping down yeah. the line a, a big finish here is going to vault her up the leaderboard and put her above that cut line. Again, top five graduate to the championship tour next year. Here we go on the comeback. Let's see if she can get out of combination. Luana Silva. Great rhythm through there. And a great finish as well. So I expect her to have surfed her way out of the combination, now making it just the one score need. What do you think, Peter? I would agree with you, Kipes. Uh, you know, it's not going to be... Uh, as high as Sawyer's by any means. I mean, she found a little left. This one didn't have the same kind of cup that, uh, that Sawyer's had, which gave you the extra energy. And then there was a little hiccup there in that uh, second maneuver, but well done to finish it up and clean it up. Sawyer, our heat leader, finds another good looking left. Real vert on that one, little hung up, but no problem, gets around that corner. Puts it up in the lip a couple of times. Sawyer Limblad. This was a 5.67, Mitch. Yeah, and good use of priority, I felt. Got a little hung up coming out of that turn right there, but that was also because of how the section was. But I still felt like just keeping Lulu off of that wave, an opportunity for her to maybe better the 6.83. And you see right here, this little bobble coming out of the turn, it's because of that convergence of both peaks, the pier bowl, and that wave that's coming off of the pier bowl. Just unfortunately just hung her up a little bit, but still... Looking to improve on the 6.8. Yeah, it's uh, definitely an opportunity. She knows that. Uh, semifinals is definitely the goal. 
Lulu, Luana Silva, a couple of sharp turns and a unforced error there. And that is um, going to be tragic for her because she was on her way to, to really getting back into this heat. Missed opportunity. It seemed like a gem of a wave, too. Yeah, it definitely was. I mean, this was the opportunity to get back in the heat. Uh, and with the fall goes down and uh, you know what went wrong she's looking uh, down the line this is a section here you can see it in the slow-mo good moment but just did not keep the eye on the ball Lindblad with priority and here she goes taking that priority on the backhand again and a nice couple snaps there don't know if that's going to improve her score line but a little bit of maybe a defensive move at, at that point sorry Lindblad uh, first we'll break down this uh, replay Pete yeah and this is the one thing that uh Sawyer can bring to the table too is that she's so strong in the back. A counter result depending on your point of view like Peter said uh, you know sometimes you do want to count at least semifinals are better but a quarterfinal here at the open pretty good you're going to move up a few spots. A confident Lindblad lets this wave go knowing that it will not have that scoring opportunity for a 9.66 although Luana Silva surfing well. And going into an event that she's won before in Portugal, she's looking to get her best result of the season so far. But it will be Sawyer Lindblad on to the semifinals, where she will be faced up against Ellie Harrison and the San Clemente backup squad. Uh, pretty happy with that performance. They should be. Gotta love Saj had the big belt buckle. <laughs> yeah. You see that? He's the cowboy. Thing was blinging. The beach cowboy.